Good evening, everybody. Good evening, hello, teacher. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, Catherine, Joanna, Marcela, and Lindaura. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Okay. Hope you are having a great time. Uh, you know, we're going to, to have uh, different presentations, some um, the stories that you have looked for. And also you are going to show to everybody that you included like the possessives in the stories. Okay. So about me, what well, that happens, we're going to start like talking about is something that you have learned lately. Okay. Something that you have learned today that you learned today. Okay. So if I ask you, for example, hey, what's, what's new in English? What's new in English? What's new in English, ladies? Because I only have ladies now. Hi, Joanna, Marilyn. Good evening. Hello, uh, hello. Good evening, uh, Jennifer, uh, Linda. Only ladies, right? No boys over here. So, uh, well, what's new in English, people? What's new in English, Lindaura? Good evening. Hello, good evening. What's new in English? ¿Qué aprendió este día en inglés? What's new in English? Eh, ¿Le digo mi historia? No, no, no. The story is later. Later on, okay? So, but, I don't know, maybe vocabulary, new vocabulary, new expressions, pronunciation, something, well, something that you learned today. Algo que aprendieron ahora. No directamente la historia, pero puede ser pronunciación, palabras, frases, ok. But something you learned today. Ya le di. Uh, well, uh, Lindaura, uh, get ready, please. And we're gonna uh, get ready. Tómese un minuto. Vamos a iniciar con Chrissy, ok? Ok. Ok, Chrissy, go ahead. Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, I learned the next word is it it way. It's meaning de cualquier manera. And the verbs win is meaning ganar. Uh, for example, either way he wins is meaning de cualquier manera el gana. Fantastic. <laughs> either way, right? Either, either. either That's a either. new A. You can include, can you include that, that expression, what Ligia says? Uh, okay, Ligia, I got your message. Uh, okay, Chrissy, why don't you include that, that expression in the chat? That would be fantastic, right? Okay, either. Perfect. Either, either, either way. Either way. Another example, everyone like winning, uh, winning an argument is meaning a todos les gusta ganar la discusión. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone likes winning the <laughs> argument. So but every... else, sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everyone wants to have the reason, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But also winning is meaning encantador, irresistible también, ¿verdad? Uh, for example, is winning smile is meaning una sonrisa encantadora. <laughs> exactly. Hey. That's all. <laughs> Great information. Great. Congrats. Eso me encanta. Que a diario aprendan algo nuevo. Okay, now I think Lindaura, are you ready now? I need to call Sarah. What is her phone number? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Where is your ja jacket? My jacket is in the closet. Thank you. So you were you were practicing some expressions, right? Some some expression. Thank you very much, Lindaura. Uh, Jennifer, what's new in English? Uh, verse, uh, wake up. Wake up. Uh, yes. Um, every day I wake up very early. <laughs> what time uh, do you wake up, uh, Jennifer? What uh, time? What time? Uh, 
Uh, I wake up six I am. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, eh, bueno, a veces más, más temprano, pero uh -huh. <laughs> regularmente a las seis. Okay. So, verbs in English, Jennifer. Verbs. Okay. Quite good. Sorry, I really like that. Hey, let us listen to Jorge Ulises. Hey, Jorge. Good evening. Uh, do me the favor Hi, to... Uh, good evening. Do me the favor to activate the oh, microphone, God. Jorge. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Roxana. Good evening. Hi. Well, uh, Jorge, I think you have problems. Maybe you have problems. Think no. Good evening. Ah, good evening. I have difficulty with the exercise for fourteen. No glitch check uh, the platform. At uh, the platform. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what was the problem you faced? Uh, don't worry, um, Jorge. Don't worry uh -huh. because because um, at the end we're gonna take some time, right? Some time in order to go there. Al final, después de escuchar las historias, vamos a ir a la plataforma a verificar ese ejercicio, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, let's continue because we still uh, we're missing ten minutes, uh, five minutes more. Uh, let me see. Maria Magdalena, I don't see you there. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> um, um, lo que aprendí ahora es uh, always be willing to, to learn one day at a time. At time. O always start the day with a smile, small. Okay, with a small smile. Okay, always. What, what's the, what was the first one, uh, Maria? Always be willing to learn. Always be willing to learn. Exactly. One day at a time. One day at a time. Excellent. And the other one, uh, start the day by having a small smile. Okay, good. Okay, thank you, Maria. You can include that expression in the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp, in the in the chat. Los que quieran compartir lo que aprendieron hoy lo pueden incluir en el chat, así como lo hizo uh, Chrissy. Okay, and let's listen to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I learn today. I learn board and concert que significa pertenecer, consist, que es consistir, contain, contener, coach, costar, y deserve, que es merecer. Right. También, también la palabra que aprendí, que, que no, nunca la había visto, nunca me había percatado, es, es aún, que significa tener. Uh, oh, w -N, right? Okay, thank you. Excellent. Hey, you see, some people are learning the verbs, some other people are learning expressions, some other people are like uh, learning some quotes. I really love that. Uh, Roxana, what's in English? Thank you, Sarah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, uh, this night I uh, I learned three idioms. Uh, first is um, to pick out. Uh, the meaning is uh, alguien que come, pues, comer mucho. Uh, the second is a piece of cake. Uh, mm -hmm. The meaning is algo muy, como muy fácil, muy sencillo. And the last is the, the, the spill of tea. Es como, dime el chambre. <laughs> <laughs> Dime el, el comentario el, el chisme. Okay, wow. Hey, Roxana is becoming an expert in the in the idioms, right? So learning three idioms daily, wow, you are going to be like I the like... expert in idioms. 
I like okay. the idiom stitch. So those three idioms were a, a piece of cake. What's what's going on? Piece so, of cake. Yeah, those those idioms were a piece of cake for you. I don't know. I think there is somebody that's sharing. Okay. Let me see. Well. No, I don't know what happened. Well, we're gonna listen to a, a last person. Okay, oh, well, let's let's see if we have volunteers. Veamos si hay voluntarios, okay? Para para cerrar esta parte de la clase porque ya se nos acabaron los diez minutos. Carolina, what's new in English, Carolina? Good evening. Uh, truly happy. And doing something that makes us happy these two two expressions okay thank Same. you i really like that let me see there are some people including the information in the chat good evening today i learned for earthquake okay liliana earthquake an example is an earthquake because of a lot of damage to the city Exactly. Uh, Liliana, I wonder if you want to share the information with the group. Okay. Well, let's listen to Jonathan then. Jonathan. Sorry. Este, good evening. Good evening. Everyone. This day I learned some sentences with the sim simple perfect. For, for example, I have been to many countries. I have been to all or Europe. Uh, for example, number two, I have seen beautiful places like the Niagara's of Fall. Uh, other other example, example, I have done many crazy, crazy things. To have done many crazy things. Okay, so you know what? Eh, el topic que trae Jonathan es un, un, un topic de que se mire en intermedio. Pero eso va a servir muchísimo porque este, cuando él llegue a esos niveles, él va a estar familiarizado. Por eso es que es, es muy bueno como ir este, variando lo que aprendemos, ¿verdad? Una frase puede ser una, dos o tres, pero que sepamos muy bien cómo lo estamos aprendiendo. Que nos aseguremos que lo, los tres cositas o las tres frases que nos aprendemos, las aprendemos muy bien. Ok. Now, let's listen to Liliana. Liliana. And we finish with this part, people. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I'm sorry. Ok. So, well, we're going to start now then with the, with the, we're going to see a video because, you know, after the video, you are, uh, we are going to listen to the stories, okay? Now, yesterday we started pressing continue. We are, we, well, we have been studying about clothes, vocabulary. We have been studying about uh, vocabulary in a conversation, possessives, uh, the weather and the seasons in the world present continuous and now we're going to try to finish with present continuous by listening to some information about yes no questions after this part you are going to present the stories okay so be ready esto es como eh, hacer una pausa antes de entrar a las a las a las a las historias a sus presentaciones let me see the chat there is somebody in the chat Okay, Jonathan is, is sharing it some info. Well, listen, people. Hi, everyone. Do you listen? Yes. Yes, okay, so. Yes, yes. This class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? 
Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb B plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. Let's try to make sense of this. Are you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that will be wearing a suit and of course we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, I mentioned the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement and of course add the question mark there so I'm gonna give you more and you should uh, make these questions as I explain after you have finished go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums okay so in the last part there are some 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 expressions we're gonna practice with it he drink water. What is the question in ing form? I mean, in in present continuous. He drinks. Is, is he drinking is water? He drink water. Excellent. Is he drinking water? Excellent. She study English. Question. Is she, is she, is she studying, is she studying English. English? English. Is she studying English? Is she studying English? They play soccer. Are they playing soccer? John watch TV. Is John watching TV? Is John watching TV? Jason and Richard draw in the in the art class. Are Jason and Richard draw in the art class? Now, once again, he drink water. He drink water. Is he drinking he is water? He drinking water. Possible answer. Uh, drawing. Possible yes, answer. He is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is. is. Or no, he isn't, right? Mm -hmm. Now, second. Or no, he's not. Or not, he's not. She study English. Yeah. Is she studying English? English? She is studying English. Is she studying English? The possible yes. answer? Yes. yes. She is. No. No. She is. She is. She is. No. She is. No. She is. She is. No. No. She is not. She is not. Okay. The very ing form is studying. 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 Okay. Studying. Uh, they play soccer. Are they playing soccer? Are playing soccer. Are they, she, he's young. Hey, are, uh, no, uh, no, I mean, are they playing soccer? Possible answer? Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Yes, they are. 
No, they are not. They're not. They're not. They're not. I am. Okay, so uh, actually that is the information that we, we are just missing about present continuous. Now, you know that there is a, a part, the knowledge check that you need to finish, right? So I think somebody had a problem. So here, it, this is this is the audio, right? So we're yeah. we're gonna we're gonna check it uh at the end, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the stories. Vamos a historias, okay? So one by one, one by one. Me voy a ir de acuerdo al orden que tenemos acá. Jonathan Ulises, go ahead. Okay. Hay que hay que compartirla. Yes. La, okay. Uh, no sé si lo harán verla. Yes, we do. We can we can see the info, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, what uh, uh, title is one of my life story when I I was twenty four year old. I was traveling by bus. By bus, uh, I went to work at uh, university. University in bus. I remember that my classmate uh, had an old car and sometimes traveled with him. His car was very old and small, but but good. And really, I like his car. The car was fast and inexpensive. inexpensive. I went to have a car like that. After five years, I bought my first car, but my wife drove the car more than I did, and the car was mine. The, she bought her car. Her car was nicer than mine. My car was older than the, the, her. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, you have the possessive adjectives there. Okay, and also you have the possessive pronouns. Thank you, Jonathan. Great job. Great pronunciation. Thank you very much. Okay, we will continue with Sara Abigail. Okay, give me a second. Voy a cambiarla a la laptop porque no lo puede hacer en el en la tablet. Okay. Great job. Me escuchan? Yeah. We listen okay. to you perfectly. Um, this is my history. My name is Sara Abigail. I'm 25 years old. So I study English online. I lay I learn from my laptop in table. The table and laptop is mine. Always do reviews in afternoon. I also learn typing. I'm going to for the level eight basic level. Or that is Grandanes. His name is Dino. Is two years old. Its hair is gray and white. He lives with my mother's house. Here is a motorcycle. This motorcycle red is her. His favorite color is purple, but mine is pink. My parents' house, I love it a bit. One, their heart is color light and blue. 
our house, my with couple is color red and white, so our car is gray. After class, we will go to the vinyl library in our car. That's it. Uh, okay, quiet, good. But let us notice about some observations, okay? Great job. Now remember, just remember, just remember that when we talk about an animal or about something, we say it, but with no apostrophe. Okay. No apostrophe, okay? okay. Yes. But what well, that was fantastic. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Teacher. Hello? Teacher, um, yo no lo escribí. Voy a tomarme el tiempito ahorita para pasarlo en, en, en Word porque yo solamente me lo, me lo había aprendido, pero no lo escribí. Entonces lo voy a pasar ahorita en, en Word. Ok, it's all right. Ok, let us listen to Karen, ok? Okay, thank you, Karen. Mom, is this is my my history? It's short. My husband, uh, favorite color is white. He loves his white clothes. My sister and I, her seats, her shirt is yellow mine is orange orange is my favorite color our closet is is full of color and closet items in my house which are my many things but shoes aren't included she has her um i have my, mine my brother is older than me his name is Marco. He is an architect. Only. Okay, thank you. He is an architect. Okay. Architect. Yeah, he's an architect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now there is somebody in the chat. Let me see. I saw in the chat. That's Marixa, right? Okay, Marixa, don't worry. Don't worry because you can share the information later. Okay. So we have Sarah. You don't worry. Don't worry, okay? Henry Escobar, Henry. Go ahead with your, with your story, Henry. Henry Escobar. Good evening, Henry. I wonder if you're facing some technical problems, Henry. I don't know. If you can listen to me, Henry, you can you can type in the chat. Si, si tienen problemas con micrófono o algo, escríbanme en el chat para yo, para yo tener claridad de que, que haya algún problema técnico. Mm, well, seems as if Henry is facing some problems. Well, I will get back with Henry later. Jacqueline Vanessa. Hello, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Vanessa, hello. Hello, Jacqueline. Well, let's start with Jennifer, Jennifer Flores. Yeah. 
Estoy arreglando. Ok, Jennifer. ¿Me escucha? Ya. Yeah. So go ahead, Jennifer. Eh, right. eh, ¿Lo comparto o solo lo leo? Share it, please. Share it with the group. Ay, permítame. Es bien corta, la verdad. Por cuestiones de trabajo no me quedo mucho tiempo de trabajarlo. Pero es más o menos como entendido. Me costó un poco entenderlo más o menos como era la tarea. Okay. Eh, dice, my baby like to play a lot with her toys. Her toys are very careful and with some to stimulate her. Her father plays with her. They spend a lot of time laughing and ha having fun. On weekend, we go for walks and we are always a con accompanied uh, by our dog. We're in a car and the car is mine. And the car is mine. That was good. I mean, it, it's okay. What really matters to me is that you include the topics that I ask you to include, right? Like possessive adjective, possessive pronouns, possessive noun case. But actually, I don't see the possessive noun case. Okay, but you include possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, okay? Let's listen to Jessica Yesenia. Jessica Yesenia, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Es una historia que la bajé de internet, lo siento, no pude, no, no me quedó mucho tiempo. Este llevé a la niña a control, le pusieron una vacuna. Sí, ahorita la tengo un poco con temperatura, pero voy a tratar de, de, de leerlo. Ok, ok, Jessica, I'm sorry to know about you, baby. Gracias. De... No sé si me escucha. Yeah, we can listen to you, Jessica. Okay. My story is, is the heiress. Um, the heiress of my dream. A uh, few days I go dream, I dream about to for my favorite characteristics, uh, Captain America and Spider-Man. They were in the grocery store where I, I swall go with my mother. They are drinking star strawberry juice, and the mind waiting to rob the opener from that place. Captain America says it is our favorite place, place, and you will not. Don't know nothing to heart the cities. Oh, no. Cities, the hits. It's what's a friend and response. My doubting is very six and I have no alerted state. Await 
and the things begin begins to take all the money. And the, I have no alternatives. Stay away and the freedom. I know, me equivoqué, lo siento. Okay, okay, Jessica, don't worry. It's okay. Now, uh, try to try to identify the possessives there. Okay, that's the only observation. Okay, so you see, tomorrow will be another day, right? And the next week we will continue with, with everything. Don't worry, Jessica. Let us listen to Joanna, Joanna Alas. Joanna, are you there? Well, you know what? Uh, in order to take advantage of time, para tomar ventaja del tiempo, vamos a, a voy a solicitar mejor este um, volunteers, voluntarios, okay? So volunteers. Let's listen. Okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, thank you, Maria. And after Maria, Carolina. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I'll compare it. Yeah. Maria, I, I don't know. Eh, no podemos visualizarla, Maria. Creo que hay que, hay que enfocar un poquito la, la cámara para que la podamos ver a usted. Thank you. A little story about possessive adjectives. Good. ¿Le sale el compartido? Sí, sí. Yes, right. mm. Little, uh, little story uh, of positive adjective. My sister is great. Uh, her, my name is Claudia. Uh, Claudia is really uh, exciting. His birthday is really soon. My husband and I borrowed a house. Uh, my cousin, uh, I ex, pardon, it's going to be or dear uh, when we lie in. My cousin locals, their parents locals too. And they had a lot of them. Claudia is going to England to visit her best friend. I... I get it. My when my sister uh, take my clothes without uh, my permission, they are mean. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they are mine. Right? Excellent. Mine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. Now I know that I have a lot of volunteers. Okay, okay. mucho voluntarios. Permítanme. Okay, I, I said, let me see. Who did I mention? Who who follows? I think it was Carolina. Teacher, right? me. Ah, yes. no, Carolina, right. So after Carolina, we will continue with Chrissy. And after Chrissy, Joanna. Teacher, no sé cómo compartir. Mm, hay una partecita abajo de la pantalla que está en verde. Una flechita hacia arriba. Sí. Que dice compartir pantalla. Ahí le doy pantalla. Sí. Pero. Ok. No sé qué aparece. Uh, aparece la pantalla de su celular. Oh. Se ve. Yes. No, yes. Sí. Yes. Bye. Este, okay. Uh, I don't know, but I hope it works. It's totally invented, nothing of real life. Uh, one day with my friend Carl, we were at this house. He gave give me tea in his favorite cup. 
we bought the hair food and ate a sandwich. Uh, her sister Julia arrived and entered the house. Julia was wearing a beautiful yellow dress. It was a very quiet day. Carla and Julia cooking and strawberry dessert. I was just watching. It was night and we had a great time. I sleep in his house. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. You slept in at his house. Okay, I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Now let's listen to Chrissy. And after Chrissy, I say Joanna, right? And after Joanna, we are going to listen to Jorge. Yes, I Okay, Chrissy, do me the favor to activate microphone. Eh, ya, ya pude. <laughs> Listo. Eh, history, eh, ¿me escucha? Yes, we do. We yes. can listen to you perfectly. Okay, perfect. Eh, history, Joseph in the country. Eh, Joseph was 10 years old. Eh, he was a holiday in his family's home in the country. They were sitting there with Joseph's grandmother and grandfather. Joseph had a sister, but her never went to place with him. Uh, his parents just wanted to watch TV, uh, television, clean the house, or watch the car. His grandfather just uh, read the new paper all day. And his grandmother and uh, hubs were just cooking in the washing pot. Watch it. <laughs> so Joseph thought nobody like him. Nobody was on the under screen that him on he was very sad. One day Joseph saw a boy next door. Robert Joseph a new friend. The boys had a can or orange juice. Joseph asked him, hello. Can I have some your orange juice, please? The boys thought for a second and, the day and said, The problem is the health is mine, but the other health is my sister. Job just asked, Oh, well, can I have some of yours, please? The boys' car is one that a bit difficult. My sister helps in the top in my hopes in the bottom. Fantastic, thank you. I really like the way you highlighted the possessives, right? You also include possessive noun case, possessive uh, adjectives and possessive pronoun, the three of them. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. A lot, a lot of a lot of can I help? Can I help? Can I help? Can I help? Okay, Shwana. Hello. Hello, Shwana. Yes. We can see it. Uh, my story, 
five months ago, I learned to ride a bicycle at 31 years old and I achieved it. I feel very happy. One Saturday morning, my boyfriend and I went out to the park that is a little park from my house. We loaded work our bikes into his car. When I got to the park, I was afraid, thinking I might fall, but I started practicing until I managed to balance. We wear our helmet. The black color was mine and the red was his. I spent my entire morning practicing. Fantastic. Great information and great story, right? And now we know that you like uh, riding a bike. Okay, thank you very much, Joana. Jorge Jose, go ahead with the information you you got. No. Good evening, teacher and Good everyone. Evening. Everyone, today. Okay. See you, my. See you, my. No, no, we cannot see your presentation, Jorge. I'm sorry. Ah, dice que no me va a dejar compartir porque no es la aplicación. Ah, ok, Jorge. Just, just say it. Say, that, say the story. Ok. Uh, at Grandma's Farhouse, Jerry found an old photo album of his family. As he looked at the time-worn photos, he met his relatives when they were young. His eyes windened with excitement as he saw his parents and uncles when they were young. Jerry couldn't help but feel a connection to his family's past. He couldn't resist but share the find with her cousin. The old photo album became a treasure for Jerry because it made him create bonds of love between the past and the present. Within the past and the present. Thank you, George. And uh, Jorge, sorry. And you also included possessive adjectives, okay? And um, some of the possessions, the possessives we have been studying lately. Thank you, Jorge. Great story. Let us listen to Catherine Ileana. And after Catherine Ileana, we're going to listen to Jorge Ulises, okay? Hi, good evening. Good evening. And no puedo compartir pantalla porque lo escribí en mi cuaderno. <laughs> okay, so share, share the story. And today I played with my friends. They are very fast and good players, but I played with boys and the ball belongs to everyone. It happened in the afternoon, but in the morning I'm learning to drive and the teacher is very good, like my English teacher. His teaching is very good too. And at seven o'clock, I went to dinner with my best friend and I really enjoy it. And I love her cause she helps me a lot cause thanks for, thanks to her, I will be a better person. Okay, great information. A great pronunciation. Hey, you, your English is, is I mean, you are, you, I can see that you're, you have been practicing something that's quite important and that is fluency. Eso se me había olvidado mencionarlo, sí, mencionarlo. Ok, al final vamos, vamos a, a comentar un poquito de lo que han hecho este día. Ok, Jorge Ulises. Thank you. 
Y hasta aquí tenemos a Elías o Jorge, are you, do you have problems with microphone? Let me see the chat. Okay. Sí, sí. Yes, we can see the ah, information. Okay. Uh, good evening. This is my history. It's the beginning of September 27 and 1903. I was born in Santa Ana. I grew up in a small neighborhood where I met my wife when she was 10 years old. We started our relationship 10 years later. Uh, we had our first uh, child three years later. We have been together since and then nine years later. We have our second daughter. And today we lie a few meters from where we meet all together as family. All together as family. Hey, uh, now listen, the, the year that you read over there, 1983. Now, you can, you can see like 1983. 1983. 1983. 1983. 1983. 1983. Now, the verb begin, begins. Begin. This is my story. Begin, it begins. It begins. Yeah, it that's begins. right. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Great info. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, I think Catherine, Jorge, I think there is somebody else. Well, if we do not have more Lindaura, Ahorita presente. Okay. Se ve? Yes, we can see the info. My story. My name is Lindaura. My phone number is seven one three two or four three one. My song friend Begins. is seven. You love wearing song class. The wallet of my son is color black. This the sof, sofa of my house is color green. Under the car is our car. Cat. Our cat. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Lindaura. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Okay. So, well. Okay. Well, just finish because we're, we're missing like seven minutes. Uh, I, I will, I will, we'll provide some comments, right? Voy a, voy a dar algunas eh, observaciones, algunas, um, Algo que me impactó mucho desde de sus presentaciones. Veo que han estado practicando y eso es muy bueno. Han aprendido algo nuevo, eh, solo que durante las, las presentaciones quiero que mantengan eh, lo siguiente en mente. Cada palabra es relevante en inglés cuando estamos eh, en los niveles más, eh, más básicos, ¿verdad? Porque... Estamos acostumbrándonos a escuchar sonidos 
de los cuales no, algunas veces no tenemos en español. Entonces, este, la pronunciación es, siempre va a ser importante. Eh, algo que también noté es que a, a, hablaba de la, de la fluidez. Sé que son de básico uno, más sin embargo, si alguien mira esta lección o las clases en las que nosotros estamos, se van a dar cuenta que ustedes van a, a, a dando pasos muy, muy, muy positivos, ¿ok? Y grandes, porque apenas es su primer mes en, en el curso de inglés y hacen todo, todas las actividades de la mejor manera. Eso es más importante que cualquier otra cosa. Hay algo que se llama motivación y esa motivación debe ser algo intrínseco, algo que nace de nosotros. ¿Okay? Cuando esa motivación nace y nosotros queremos salir adelante, ya sea en cualquier meta, en este caso es aprender un segundo idioma, lo logramos sí o sí. Entonces esa motivación no debe desaparecer. Al contrario, debe irse incrementando, ¿verdad? Yo siempre me tomo el tiempo de cómo hacer estos paréntesis para, para dejarles en claro que, pues, no es solo la clase de inglés, sino más bien este, darles como, o decirles, miren, aquí este es el camino a seguir, ¿verdad? En el día ustedes pueden tomarse 15, 20, 30 minutos, lo que ustedes consideren necesario para mejorar. ¿Verdad? Mejorar, mejorar en, en su aprendizaje. De esa manera, pues, este, se van a dar cuenta de que um, van a aprender muy rápido y, este, y de hecho ya lo están haciendo. Uh, algo más que querían agregar, bueno, fluidez es algo que, que nosotros lo hacemos en español cuando hablamos de manera natural. Ok, eso se llama fluidez. No es que nosotros hablamos ta, 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 ta. eso no se llama fluidez, sino que es, es más bien hablar con naturalidad en inglés. Eso, manténgalo en mente porque en, en los niveles eh, básicos al inicio es, es bastante difícil, ¿verdad? Nosotros tendemos como a hesitar y empezamos a uh, my, my name is uh, Enrique uh, y empezamos así, ¿no? Entonces, eh, es un proceso en el cual ustedes ya están, han iniciado y, y se van a dar cuenta que poco a poco, eh, mientras su inglés vaya eh, incrementando, también su fluidez, su pronunciación, todo lo que implica inglés en sí, eh, lo van a ver este, reflejado siempre que, que entren por lo menos a ver este, la clase se van a ir dando cuenta de sus avances. O cuando, si tienen la oportunidad de hablar con un norteamericano, pues genial. O si tienen la oportunidad de hablar con alguien que también está aprendiendo inglés, adelante. O sea, no hay que detener, no hay que tener miedo a, a utilizar el idioma. Al contrario, las personas que, que nos escuchan, digamos, norteamericanos, siempre, siempre a ellos les les admira que nosotros estemos interesados en aprender el segundo idioma. Entonces, para ellos es, es bueno, yo he tenido la experiencia que a que ellos les encanta que uno hable inglés con ellos. Así que, esas son más que todas las sugerencias. No se sé, voy a compartir, porque por ahí parece que había una, alguna duda con respecto al ejercicio. Eh, más, no recuerdo el 414, solo voy a compartir las respuestas para que ustedes chequeen, ¿verdad? Y vean ahí al, algo en lo cual este, debieran este, corregir. Recuérdense que este día es el último día para que ustedes puedan este, completar los ejercicios de la plataforma. La otra semana, si Dios permite, cerraremos. Ah, y otra cosa, el día jueves eh, preparen una actividad en donde nos muestren qué es lo más significativo que han aprendido durante este mes. Pero, ¿cómo así, teacher? Bueno, 
es algo que a ustedes se sientan cómodos. Puede ser, si quieren nuevamente una, una historia, si quieren um, una conversación, pueden coordinarse con un compañero. Uh, si quieren, pues buscan ejercicios en una página web, lo resuelven y nos lo muestran como lo, lo han hecho. O sea, es una actividad en donde ustedes se sientan cómodos y que al mismo tiempo nos, nos muestren que efectivamente uh, se llevan algo muy bueno del básico. ¿no? Que eso sería para día jueves. Se los digo con, con anticipación para que todos estén listos y... Y pues cuando yo llame, digamos, a alguien, pues ya automáticamente la clase fluya. Que no nos detengamos, recordemos que solo tenemos 60 minutos y debemos aprovechar esos 60 minutos al máximo. Ok, uh, Roxana wants to participate. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Se ve, teacher? Yes, we can see it. Yes, my, my story is a little story, but it's about my, my life. Uh, in my family, we are four. My three children and I, I have a car. His old car, that, that's why I tell him my old friend. My oldest son says me his car is nice and mine is old, but I don't care about because it's mine. <laughs> I want them to care of their thing because are expensive. This is important in their life. Okay, this is like a piece of a, a piece of advice, also, right? Hmm. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Thank for sharing the the information. Okay. Thank you very much. No sé cómo quitarla. Ah, ah. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Ok, so I think we're going to close. Vamos a cerrar con broche de oro. Creo que han hecho un excelente trabajo. Y pues creo que este, el día de mañana descansen y tengan un excelente fin de semana. Así que los veo el lunes. Dios mediante. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Gracias. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody.